Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to Art Thou Podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Walciano the second, and this is the Menace of Venice on Channel Point. Six, 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 six. On today's episode, we'll be interviewing two special guests that have joined us in the studio. Also, near the end of the show, one lucky viewer will be taking home 100 ducats, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, please welcome our first guest, Antonio the Merchant! So, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing great this evening. That's good. Thanks for coming in and being a part of our show. Well, thanks for having me. The Lord has blessed my day. That's great. Let's get started. So, everyone's aware that you were recently brought to court. If you don't mind telling us, how did that all start? Well, I had a friend who was seeking love, but this woman lived in Belmont, and he could not afford to go see her. So, I borrowed some money under my good name from Shalak the Jew, and the terms of the loan said that if I did not pay the loan, I would owe a pound of flesh. I was confident I could pay the loans. I am a merchant after all. Eventually, I couldn't pay the loans and I was brought to court. How come you couldn't pay the loan? Well, because I got news my ships were lost at sea, and most of my money was invested in the ships. Oh, I see. It must have been an awful feeling knowing what was about to occur. It takes a brave man to walk to the courthouse and accept his punishment. It was a very difficult time. I was scared, and the only thing that was going through my mind was that I wouldn't be leaving the courthouse alive. All that I could hope for is that my lawyer officer comes to an agreement with the opposing side in order to spare my soul. That's quite the interesting story. We'll be back with Antonio the Merchant after this short break. The new Globe Theatre on Shakespeare Boulevard is now open. The theatre holds up to 3,000 people. Our first show will be of Q for Treason this Saturday at 4 p.m. Tickets are now on sale. One ducat for floor seat, an extra ducat for a stool, and four ducats for the balcony seats. Buy your tickets now. And we're back here on Menace of Venice with Antonio the Merchant. So I have to ask you, were you ready to die that day? I wasn't ready at first, but once I got to the courtroom and saw Shylock Charbonnier's knife, I knew it was my time to go. Antonio, your story is amazing. It really is. I appreciate you joining us today. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now introducing our next special guest, Antonio's lawyer, Balthazar. Great to meet you, Balthazar. Great to meet you too. Thanks for coming on our show. Thanks for having me. The Lord has blessed my day. The Lord blessing two people in one day? That's a miracle. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we already heard Antonio's side of the story. Can you tell us, uh, Balthazar, what you had to do to save Antonio's life? We tried to offer Shylock double what Antonio owed, but Shylock refused and said he will take only what the bond reads. I reread the bond and an idea came to mind. If Shylock were to take the pound of flesh, Antonio would bleed out and die. Shylock was only allowed flesh and no blood. And Shylock was not allowed to kill Antonio because that's murder. Wow, that's amazing. One simple thought saved one man's life. You're a hero. Can you explain what happened to Shylock at the end of the trial? Yes, Shylock changed his mind and he refused to take the pound of flesh. Instead, he wanted the ducats. 
I then refused and charged him for attempt to murder Antonio. The court agreed. Therefore, half his fortunes went to Antonio and the other half went to the court. Wow, talk about bad karma. The Duke let him live, but Antonio didn't want the money. Instead, he, he told Shylock to give it to his daughter. Finally, Antonio wanted Shylock to become a Christian. Wow, what drama in the courtroom. The Duke showed mercy by saving the Jew. It's amazing how Antonio showed mercy to the, to the man who tried to kill him minutes before. And he also forced Shylock to become a Christian himself. It's funny how things work out. It sure is. Well, thank you, Balthazar, for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> We're closing in to the end of the podcast. You know what that sound means? It's giveaway time. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. For today's podcast, I'll be giving away 100 ducats to one lucky caller. The first person to answer this question wins the grand prize. The question is, where does Antonio's friend go to find love? To answer the question, call 1-800-267-2001. Menace of Venice. Hi, thanks for calling in. Who is this? Hi, my name is Jeff. Uh, how old are you, Jeff? I'm 21, and I really want those ducats. Okay, do you have the answer? Uh, is the an- answer Vankley Kill? Oh, that's wrong. Thanks for calling in. The prize is still available. Call 1-800-267-2001. Hello, who is this? How old are you, Tanya? I'm 11. Do you have the answer to the question? Is the answer Belmont? You're correct. Oh my god! We'll be sending you a check in the mail for 100 ducats. Congratulations! Woo! That concludes today's giveaway and today's show. Thanks for watching. Menace of Venice. Hope to see you next time.